It's been kind of neat to check out these Hot Wheels Pop and Play Stone Ghost sets. On the back here you see there was a police station. So here's the police station. I did a video with that one already. Right here we got a uh, schoolhouse. So here is the uh, schoolhouse version of the uh, Pop and Play play sets from Hot Wheels. 1988 as I mentioned. And then on top you got the construction company. Ooh, that one looks pretty cool. This one is definitely the one that I had a harder time finding. The other ones, even though you'd think that the uh, police version would be most popular. Hey, Toys R Us, $4.99. You'd think the police version, that would be hard to find because, uh, you know, the police one's pretty neat. But actually, uh, it's pretty easy to come across on eBay. But this construction company piece, this one is the uh, hardest one I had to find. I'm definitely looking forward to uh, getting a closer look at that cement mixer. Here's a look on the uh, side for you guys. Comes with a cement mixer machine. Has the same, all of them have the same uh, writing on the back. Nothing different uh, between the three. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, crack it open and take a look at it. In another video, I wondered if uh, the person who bought I bought it from had retaped these, but uh, I got these from different sellers. So uh, since this one has a tape just like the rest, I'm letting you know that if, if you buy it off of eBay or wherever and it's got the tape on there, it appears that's how they came with that tape. Wow, this one was a bit harder for me to open it up. I usually like to take a knife and kind of cut down here so I can open it nicely. This way if I use it for a future video, I can use the box, you know, for a, for a prop for a future video and then keep it kind of nice. But this guy, this guy didn't want to be opened up very nicely. It took me a while. But let's take a look at that Peterbilt dump truck. That's a pretty cool model, man. Maybe that's why uh, it's hard to find. It's because people don't want to sell it. Once they got it in their collection, they don't want to get rid of it. And then the other ones, they say, eh, let it go. I don't know. I have to figure out what is this here. Let's see. Got a little, uh, take some of the light off here. Got a little spurt spinning uh, mixer here. This uh, this only appeared on the card. I was checking SouthTexasDieCast.com. It only appeared on the card uh, a couple times in the 80s. And then uh, no more. Went bye-bye. That's the uh, Peterbilt cement mixer. Let me bring out a couple old cars before I uh, pop open this uh, set here. So there we have the uh, Peterbilt dump truck. And as you can tell, it's the uh, same. Got the uh, stacks. As a matter of fact, I got a loose one I can compare it to better. But they also had this one, Peterbilt tank truck. The blister's a little bit yellow. But this one, this one, this guy's heavy. This back part right here is all metal. This is a heavy metal racer. Actually, it wouldn't be good for racing because it's got six wheels. So it would slow it down. It'd be heavy if it was going straight downhill. But, uh, but as soon as it has to go through the straightaway, it's going to slow down because of all that weight and the six wheels. But let's go ahead and take a look at uh, this one here. This dump truck right here. Compare it to the Peterbilt cab for the cement mixer. And I think this one came out of a five pack. But there you go, same casting. Let's take a look at the base. Peterbilt Mattel, made in Malaysia. Now that's the original copyright, 1979. But we know this, this one was released in 1988. And then here, new base, not the same. But still has the same copyright, 1979. And they didn't put a Peterbilt on the base anymore. Still had six wheels, but otherwise, uh, it's the same. You got your stuff on the side there. Take a look at the grill. And just turn around and put a new attachment on here. Let's take a look. Yeah, they, they retooled the base, you can tell. Because that one has a one hole and the other one has two holes. So they did retool the base at some point. You know that because the base is different with the letters on the bottom. But there you go. 
I really like uh, trucks like this, the Peterbilt. But let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and pop this thing open. You know, inside we're gonna have our uh, stickers. Here's the uh, door. Pop it open. Here's our attachments. It should be stickers. Maybe stickers are. There we go. Brown stickers. You know this was from 1988, so I'm filming this in 2013. These things are already 25 years old. The stickers still work good, but unfortunately two of these stickers are right on the crease right here. Hopefully I'll get them to lay down on the playset nice and flat. So as did all the other pop and play sets that I had reviewed, they all have the same design here. So this one uses uh, this part here. This is for stowing. When you want to put it away, you uh, can collapse this and put this down and then it'll fit nice and uh, neat in a smaller space. But let's go ahead and take a look at the stickers while we're here. That one's a little crooked, is it? Yeah, I might have got that one a little crooked. This is the uh, good sticker. By the way, the one that had the uh, that was popping up, I put it right here instead of right here. And look, this one's made like simulated dirt. But uh, I put it here because this way it's underneath here and it'd be less apt to uh, come uh, rolling up, I, I guess. I don't know. But I decided to put it right there. I thought it would do better right there. Let's take a look at all the sides. And here's the back. And here's the part where you would stow your vehicle. You put this guy in uh, this way. First, you got to make sure on this one, you definitely have to make sure this door is up. Because with the larger vehicle, it's kind of hard to get him in there. I want him to go this way because this way his uh, cement mixer part will be right here. Let me just give it a little close. There he is. Now you can uh, take this for traveling and he's, uh, he's safely in there. You can't lose him. Hello, can I come out? Very cool. Now let's, let me go ahead and get the other. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and uh, we gotta check out the, uh, gotta fill it up with cement. Here you got your little uh, cement part. That's where you would uh, back up to load up your cement dump truck. And so you got that spot right there. And then here you got the spot where you would put in your cement. So we back on up. Beep. Did they have beepers in 88? I don't know. Beep, 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 beep. There you go. Matches up. Perfect height. Fill it in. Yeah, yeah. Kind of fun. I really like having this though. <laughs> Alright, let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and get the others to compare how they were. Now here we got the uh, police one. Like I said, you had the uh, four spots. So the police one used a lifter. This one uh, doesn't use a lifter. This is just for stowing. So this way when you put it away, it's uh, that high. Then, uh, let's check the tops. This one has a unique top. It doesn't compare to the other ones at all. Had the police station. Then you had the uh, schoolhouse. These two had uh, kind of like uh, grates for the top. This one's just wide open because it's a uh, working building. And then I would assume, let's see, the, the doors are the same on the uh, schoolhouse and the construction company. Doors look the same with the police. Has a different ridge. Oh, I never, you know what? I never compared that on the other ones. This one has this kind of a beveled ridge. This one has like uh, you know fake uh, tiles, and this one just has a uh, not a mitered concave edge. There you go. There's a look at the construction company playset. Been pretty neat to take a look at all of them. You had the uh, police station I showed you. You had the uh, schoolhouse which I showed you. And I just showed you the uh, construction company.
coming soon. What? Drive-in bank? This one's not on the back. Where'd this one come from? It's got the other three. I'll have to do this one uh, later on. You can click on either one of these to be taken directly to those play sets or if you want to see my uh, stow and go playlist I got a bunch of stow and goes. Click on this box here. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.